Hey y'all, it's my 214th video journal slash journey and this will be the last video of 2017. I didn't quite make the 365, did I? But, oh well. Anyway, I wanted to share an experience. This happened on Friday. And I'm still in my bed, comfy cozy. It's cold. I'm about to get up and have oatmeal and coffee for breakfast and this cold weather made me have a runny nose and it's all red and sore and it hurts so yeah anyway that stinks but anyhow so friday night there was this comedy show in town d ray davis and tiffany haddish and i woke up friday morning deciding that i you know well i kind of thought oh, i'd like to go to that but all along, I was like, oh, I can't afford to spend money on it, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Well, Friday morning, I woke up and decided I really wanted to go. And I told myself, you don't have to have money to go to the comedy show. You just let the universe make a way. So put your intention out there that you're going to go to the comedy show tonight and wait and see what happens. And so I did just that. I put the intention out to the universe that I wanted to go to the comedy show. And I tried to get a couple people to try to win tickets for me from the radio. But no one was able to do that because I had to work and I couldn't do it myself. And I didn't even know what radio station was doing it. And so, anyway, that didn't work. So then um, I posted, I put the post on Facebook, like, what radio stations have the tickets and I got a couple comments about that. And one girl happened to work at one of the radio stations and she saw it too. And she's like, oh, they were giving away tickets, but they closed at noon. So then later I posted, does anyone have, because it was freezing. So I figured some people might not want to go. So I posted, does anybody have comedy tickets? I got $20. So I was willing to pay $20 for some tickets that cost way more than $20, but I figured someone would like to have a little money rather than no money, right? So, I didn't get any comments at all about that, but a friend of mine and myself decided we were going to go out dancing anyway that night, so I just went ahead and proceeded to get ready for that, so I jumped in the bathtub, and just as I'm getting out of the bathtub, my son knocks on the bathroom door saying, hey mom, you still want to go to that, um, comedy show I was like yeah and he was like check your inbox so I looked at my inbox and the same young lady that said she worked at the radio station had messaged me and she said hey I have two tickets it's too cold I don't want to go come you want to come get these tickets so I was like yeah <laughs> so anyway I ended up being only about five minutes maybe ten minutes late for the comedy show because at that point it was after seven o'clock and I was just getting out of the tub I had to dry my hair and everything so anyway just to let you know if you haven't seen a movie called the secret or read a book called the secret it talks about just that what I explained actually happened to me and the more you practice it the faster things start to happen and I oftentimes forget to use this um, and so if I can remember to use it more often, I am sure I will see greater changes happening for me. So I just have to remind myself <laughs> that I have the power to connect to the source of universal wisdom and the source of creation and the source of making things happen. And we all do, all of us. So... For those of you who are big into this transition between 2017 and 2018, let 2018 be your year to make things happen. All right? Sending out love, light, and healing energy as you pass it on. And until next year, later, y'all. Have a great day.